All right, Maximus Analysis here with a crude futures um, individual uh, video. Um, <clears throat> we see that crude is going down for a while now. It's been pretty much from 50 to, I think the low is around 34 or that thereof. And we see we're just getting a pretty bounce today. I think a lot of names in the Dow were actually the oil complex or energy complex, which is Chevron, ExxonMobil, and Hess uh, did have some, you know, Chevron and Exxon Mobil having a three plus dollar day is a significant move. And I think it's a lot to do with uh, what's going on in the Dow versus what is, you know, you see the headlines and this kind of goes towards the media sending you stuff that all oh, crude futures rallying, which is push up the market. Well, it's in a downtrend. So the way to play this is to see how well it gets up to, let's say, this $40 level. Now, if they continue and uh, really rip up for the next couple days, uh, and the strength is just, you know, some parabolic type of moves, kind of like this. This is where you would say, okay, this is lifting up the market. This little area right here, you say, okay, this is what was lifting up the market. Um, not this, <laughs> this little mark right here. So what we wanted to do is see how it retraces into Thursday and Friday and see how the volume looks because they need to get above this 39.58 area and 40 area before we would look at potentially taking some longs. Uh, I am seeing a little bit of divergence from these two uh, lows, but if we take, get rid of this and make sure that we're looking at the big picture as well on the weekly, we can see there's still a lot more weekly, um, you know, stuff to go. I think that we potentially have to get to 33 and potentially uh, 25 if it continues the way it, it does. So again, a retrace up to this level, even on the weekly time frame, it hasn't even broken the weekly high yet. So let's not get uh, you know ahead of ourselves in regards to saying, okay, things are bottoming. We see we have on this lower highs in place all the way. And we, we have a channel um, that we could you know, just easily put up here to just say at the end of the day, we're in this channel. Okay. Are we midway between it? Yes. But if they could retrace up to here, uh, we want to see what type of strength they have, at least for the week. Because again, um, saying that, <clears throat> that, um, we have such a significant rally and you can see a lot of it actually fading off right here. So let's look at the hourly and you can see that they're, you know, potentially, uh, you know, they haven't really broken, you know, again, we want them above this level right here. Last significant sell signal is around this 40, 41, 60 area. So let's see them get above there before we look at a change in regards to a daily uh, trend change before anything. So again, we're just going to treat, again, this is a significant move, but, um, you know, they go, they're past the close, but you can see that they're fading off a little bit right now. And it's just not really a lot of oomph if you look again time frame is everything but still make sure you're not getting sucked into saying oh okay this is the bottom don't 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 do that let's see them get and make a higher low at least and then launch off from there and hopefully give us some type of real significant movement versus just uh, a one bar off of a low so just want to give some perspective on the crude name and uh trade them well